Hi there, Signs of Cancer. This is Kim here with your next 48-hour reading. Hope you're doing really well. We're pulling from the Journey of the Sacred Bee. And um, as always, I'd like to ask that your spirit guides and your angels join us so that the messages are for your most high. I still have private readings left, but um, they might take about 24 to 48 hours to get back to you. Uh, I mean, to get them out to you. Because of the upload times, goodness, with these videos plus that. All right, so Journey of the Sacred Bee messages for Cancer. Bottom of the deck, the Four of Swords in the reverse. Maybe. Maybe you're busy. Busy. That's nice. Hmm. That's strange. <clears throat> All right, so the Four of Swords in the reverse, I, I feel like this is about being busy. Um, that's what I feel it's about. And let's get another deck and we'll, we will uh, clarify these cards. So in the past, we have the Two of Wands. It says Dominion on the card. Um, it's really about there being a lot of paths and possibilities that you can plan for yourself. Um, nice. This might have been like a in the past, a period of time where you had ample time to like think about what you really want and uh, plan it. So laying down the plans and um, a lot of sacrifice, a lot of self-sacrifice here with this. So there's um, that feeling of waiting, waiting for something. And then it, it's it's really strange. You have the you have the queen of disc in the reverse, the king of disc in the reverse. This is the issues, the queen of disc in reverse. The environment is the king of disc in reverse. And the empress is what uh, the hopes or fears, and it's in reverse. <laughs> so, gosh, what's going on? Either with the... Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, either with like one of those signs. Um, Cause this to me looks like um, a couple that is just absolutely decided they're not gonna commit to each other. Um, I mean, that's what this looks like. Unless, unless you're dealing with someone who has, or or you're going to get another commitment. But the reason I say that is because, okay, the challenge is the Six of Cups. Normally, I would look at this and say this is that soulmate energy. But with it in the in the challenge and both of these being in the reverse, there's something in it. And it might have to do with the, the mix of domestic and um, business. So it might have to do with the Pentacles too. Something just kind of off with these two um, crown uh, cards, court cards, sorry, court cards. So the queen of swords, and then you've got two queens up here. Do you see how many queens? You have uh, one, two queens in the empress. No, three queens in the empress. So the queen of swords um, as the heart of the matter, which means um, already decided. This energy cuts out what it needs to so I feel like you've already decided um that there's something about this partnership that's just not worked or work working and I feel like the heart has already decided that because it's in the heart of the matter um the queen of wands is crowning your energy up here which is um it's kind of like the performer um it's somebody that's 
that's really good at what they do, um, usually like professionally or something like that, sharing talents and gifts and, and it's putting yourself out there. Um, and then you have the hermit specifically like this. A lot of you all are dealing with a Virgo, um, because of that coming out, but do your own research. I'm going to get, I'm going to get another card doing your own research. It might be talking about finding out what like talents or skills that you have inside that maybe you haven't um, acknowledged or found yet or lit up for yourself. Tell me more about the hermit. Sometimes the hermit can feel, um, kind of lonely. Maybe that's what it is. The nine of swords. Hmm. So this can be thinking of, you know, the, the negative side of things. Um, and it could cause even problems with sleep when you get the nine of swords. You have insomnia or have problems with, with the situation where there's nothing you can do. Like your hands are tied in a situation. There's nothing you can really do to help it. The, the thing that will help, whatever this is, is the temperance card. So patience with divine timing, because it's all about divine timing. And there's something about this coming out like this that says, because it's not the right time at the moment or something like that. But you can guarantee your angels uh, are working behind the scenes, trying to get people's um, people to calm their tempers too. <laughs> um, trying to get things to mix well. All right. So what have you already decided with the Queen of Swords? Oh, well, that's crazy. This was wanting to come out um, with it when I, <laughs> that's crazy. So the Two of Pentacles is, is somebody that is really juggling a whole lot. Um, it might be hard to balance. There may be something that's hard to balance within all of the, this business and home life. And, and you're feeling the ebb and flows. You're feeling the ups and downs. Also, you could be going back and forth on a decision, too. Uh, because that choices and decisions, she's usually very, very decisive and ready for change. So it can be something like that. The Seven of Cups um, here with how you're feeling. Open to many options. You have many options in front of you. I always say with the Seven of Cups, just watch what you're putting um, into yourself so that you see things clearly. Oh, that's nice. And then we have the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like um, it's all about perspective, especially when it comes to Seven of Cups. So you want to make sure that um, that like either not too many emotions are getting in the way of your choices because that that's what the Queen of Swords also is kind of known for is she does have heart but um she's going to be very she's going to be very logical practical first and try to see things clearly this is kind of dreamy energy um so something is going to change something is going to change for you um a new cycle something new i'm going to find out about this king of disc it feels like somebody wants to spend time to themselves it's hard to get time away and the Four of Swords in the reverse. Meaning that you can't like even sit down to get a break. Or something like that. <clears throat> Tell me about the King of Discs. Oops. High Priestess and the Three of Pentacles. Uh, kind of like this. Um, there's a lot of n this knowing energy with the high priestess tapping into your uh, spiritual gifts and abilities. Also, with that being with the queen of wands and this coming out, it makes me feel like, um, keeping something to yourself, like, um, keeping a secret to yourself. Um, and as far as guidance goes, I think it's, it's like, it's just you, um, 
doing, at, like, like maybe without guidance, or letting your inner self guide and not take, not taking somebody else's um, opinion. So there's something that feels like you maybe didn't even lay down the groundwork for yet. I don't know what that is, but the high priestess knows. So meaning that you would know. Trust your gut. The Knight of Cups here is um, offering something unexpected. It could be a proposal, romantic, or business. It could be, um, again, these two energies, kind of dreamy, fuzzy-like energies, movement. Uh, tell me more about the Knight of Cups. A lot of it, so there feels like a lot of advice from others and switching up your commitments, making really big moves. Um, Dropping down the walls a little bit there. Possibly in investing some money, too, into something. So, maybe being willing to hear what others have to say with that card, too. Uh, that might be something. So, not... Yeah, okay. So, so what's interesting in your outcome, you have the Nine of Swords in the reverse... Yeah, the Nine of Swords here that was clarifying um, that there was something about you know, people getting along that you couldn't do something ab about or a situation where there was really no solution at the moment. Um, but there is a solution, and it involves a Four of Wands in the reverse and a Nine of Swords in reverse. So positive thinking and then trusting this new um, step forward on another journey, also advocating for standing up for, fighting for, holding your ground, and work, and something working out. And that is a solution here for you. Nice. So at the end of the day, there's a peaceful resolution. I think that the Empress in Reverse is really trying to tell you that, um, to spend some time with your with yourself or on yourself. Um, Empress usually takes care of everyone else. In the reverse, if it's what you're hoping for, then it might be that you get to take some time out to take care of yourself. So that is what I've got for your next 48-hour reading. And I'm going to pull an angel number. No, not angel number. I'm just doing this. I'm going to pull a Ask the Angels card. Compromise. Compromise. Reconsider. But I'll tell you with that Queen of Swords, I don't, <laughs> I don't know if that's going to happen. And then I have Improving Health. Yay. That's great. So that's really good, and it's up to you is on the bottom of the deck. Let's get some tea leaves and close out Cancer's reading. Oh, force is working against you. Goodness, what the crap? I definitely can't leave that without clarifying. Okay, Axe, force is working against you, Dagger. Tease, fears, worries, tense situations, which is this. Uh, weeping willow, family sorrow. Oh, Lordy. Pale, time to get out of the situation. Grasshopper situations in the balance that require careful handling. And then you have needle and thread. A sincere wish will be granted. I'm not going to end the reading without finding out why... <laughs> Why these things came out. So let's see. All right, what is this dagger and axe about? What is the dagger and the axe about? The emperor and the eight of wands. Forces working against you. That's interesting. This is usually like authority of some kind, like a really big power move or power moves. And this is good communication. Um, 
So maybe, you know, I look at the emperor as having a really good strategy moving forward. So even though something might be a tense situation here, it's accompanied by good news. So I think everything's going to be fine, especially if you have something to do with a court or administrative stuff like that. That to me is good news. Now, um, pale, time to get out of a situation. Ooh, the five of pentacles. Time to get out of a situation. If So if there's anything where we just don't feel um, like we fit in or like we belong or going through a time where the money has, has an issue or, or something like that, some financial stress and worry is, usually comes uh, with the five of pentacles too. So it might, oh, and another five, five of swords. So... This is um, huh, lots of change, lots of change. You know, this person on the card looks like they have all of the swords and looks like nobody else wants to fight. Look at his, his thing, though. So there's like blood on this thing, meaning there's already been some kind of fight. And I feel like uh, turning towards the spiritual realm and, and getting along is what is very important. Um trust this change trust this change let me find out about the weeping willow um, was that family sorrow let's find out about that knight of swords three of cups knight of cups in the reverse okay well if anybody had anything where they're Either license or um, movement was stopped, like, or um, dealing with like a change because something wasn't moving forward. There's the Knight of Swords and the Three of Cups, a celebration. I feel like it's related to this wish granted. The only kind of sorrow would be maybe the Knight of Cups in the reverse or getting together. There could, could be a reunion. But there's definitely big, big change coming. Someone not moving. Tell me something else. Something not moving. Well, when one door closes, one door opens. The Ace of Cups. Purest embodiment of the... Um, Cups energy, the beginning of something very emotional, and it's kind of handed as a gift here from the universe. So it's it's something that I feel like is accompanying you because of, of having to go through this weeping willow family sorrow, and it's time for things to kind of take a change. So I, you've got big, big, big changes come in, and, and they all look like they're going to work out. So that's what I've got. Sending you love and light. Bye-bye, Cancer.